Hi everyone, Kia Kaha and welcome to your April General Zodiac reading for the month. So I'm going to use these gorgeous Doreen Virtue healing cards for this month for some of the reading and I will pull three cards and see what the energies are and what messages are here for us all to uplift and see if we can gain some insight from them, some positivity. So let's see, I've brought in this gorgeous um, Merkaba clear quartz stone because we are in the period at the moment of two fairly large eclipses which have great change that can be brought upon many of us here and you sort of get this feeling of change and upward motion is really the ideal movement forward and Merkabas are wonderful at bringing in that energy as well. So let's see guys what is coming up for April. Visualise success. Well, that's a great way to start, but you can't ask for much more than that. Parents and Ascended Masters. Nothing coincidental in any of these cards. Let's see if we start with the Visualise Success card. I am a really firm believer in positive affirmations and the techniques of visualization. I use them myself on a daily basis. They're profoundly powerful and positive. Um, and it takes nothing to change your thought into that of the positive. So when you, when you think you can weigh up whether or not you're going to sit there and be um, thinking negatively about anything in your life, so any direction or path that you're wanting to take, it's just as easy to sit there and be gloomy and negative as it is to switch over and be positive and visualize success. And when you do that, you are changing the whole vibrational energy and the directional outcome of whatever it is that's on your mind. So, you know, you can, we've all heard of the, um, the secret and all these other positive affirmation things and they go right back to the 1930s even and before that that they had these theories about how your thoughts become realities and I think we still get caught up in not believing it or not putting enough effort and energy into it. This whole paradigm and visualizing how you want your life to be, what direction you want to go in and how you want to solve situations is so powerful that if you uplift it and start doing it you will find yourself heading in a positive outcome or direction or situations and there are many ways to do it. YouTube is literally full of positive affirmation videos or meditations and as I say I use them daily actually I swear by them they are powerful and they are worth uplifting so that's a great message um, April comes in with a lot of potential change of energy across the whole planet and we've still got some kind of murky astrological lineups happening so a lot of us are feeling tension and uh, stresses and we're feeling the shift the paradox shifts on the planet so it is a time of change and you can either visualize success and positivity or you can fall into the gloomy yucksville of, of you know um, not being able to achieve what it is you desire and the other thing is don't give up the good things take time and that's another really good message to remember now let's move on to the parents card when it comes out there's a lot of messages here around perhaps your relationship that you've had with your parents. Now this card can often symbolize, because they have um, wings on, that for any of you who have already lost your parents um, and they've passed into spirit, that they can be there still watching over you and um, sending loving positive thoughts or some sort of support. So if you've recently had a deceased parent pass over, they are wanting to just connect again and just say they still love you and they can hear you and they can see where you're going and they just wish the very best for you. That can also be grandparents too. Often grandparents are very close to their grandchildren and when they pass it can be a really big loss for people. I never met any of my grandparents so I didn't have that connection. Um, the other message this card can give is to You've got to understand that your parents are individuals and they are who they are and they're what they are. 
And even though some of you may not be happy with your parents or you wish they were had behaved in another way or done a better job at bringing you up or um, stayed together when perhaps they broke up or vice versa, you have to understand that they also have their own journey in life. This is not all about you. Your own life is about you, but they brought you into this world so that you could experience your life. And a lot of the times, parents aren't, well, all of the time, you've got to remember this, parents aren't perfect. They weren't born perfect. They didn't know all the rules. It's really hard job being a parent. And you do the best you can at the time and under the circumstances. And yes, things can change. And as they... Um, as you grow up and grow older and lead your own life, your parents may look back and go, God, you know, I wish we'd done this differently or handled that in a better way. But at the time, that was the best they could do. So this card is often about um, allowing forgiveness and healing around relationships with parents um, and family members and things like that. So it could be a time for a bit of forgiveness in the heart. Now, the third card, the Ascended Masters, Interesting that we have Easter upon us in April and it, from the Christian perspective it's probably their biggest time of the year when they spend a lot of energy and thought and direction at their particular religion and Christ is uh, I guess the forerunner of the whole um, Christian perspective and he's an ascended master so at this time, there are huge energies of Christ around the planet. And regardless of whether you're religious or not, because I don't particularly follow any religious faith, if I had any particular passion about perspectives of religion, it would be Buddhism, which I don't believe to be a religion. It's more of a philosophy anyhow. That's just a big plane traveling overhead at the moment. I'll let that pass. But as we journey up into around the Easter period, we get a lot of really powerful white light energy on the planet. And you can call on it, you can feel it, you can vibrate within it. The whole Ascended Masters and the Christ white energy is all about pure love and light. And it's that pathway that when you connect with it, you, you connect your soul at the highest possible realm. And you certainly don't have to be a Christian to feel the blessings and the light of any of the Ascended Masters. All you have to do is be in that positive um, openness to receiving love and there is plenty of it coming for the month of April if you're wishing to uplift that beautiful striking energy to bring healing, health, harmony, hope, faith, love, joy. Really wonderful um, card and energy to have. So one last card for the reading we will do from the Angels of Atlantis and we will just see one other message that they're wishing to show us for April given we've got so much strong Wow, how about that? <laughs> There's Christ yet again the white light and the golden light and the word love which is what I had just finished saying. So, you know, the ability to feel love and to connect in April at all sorts of levels and to give love as well. Be the receiver of it and then be the giver of it and be that whole full circle of unity. It's so powerful and it's such the best place to be and it's so healing and cathartic for any of your problems or issues. If you address them in the capacity of love, you will find a lightness of being that comes with it, just as you are with this Ascended Master and the gift of love for April. So may you all be able to uplift it and feel that passion. Thanks guys for listening. I really appreciate your support, your comments and the fact that you subscribe to me and that you love the videos. I appreciate you all and send you all good thoughts and great wishes. Kia kaha and much aroha.